Are the Warriors really trash? The champs have opened their title defense in the worst way possible. It started with a fight between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole in the offseason, and it's been downhill since Steph Curry's injury. And as with all things NBA and the Warriors related, Stephen A. Smith has something to say as well. Let's take a look. First, the Warriors are in disarray. The reigning NBA champions are having problems defending their name as they are playing in San Francisco for the ongoing NBA championship. Over the last decade, this squad's on-court performance is considered to be right up there with some of the greatest we have ever seen, and the results speak for themselves. However, the version of the Golden State Warriors we are seeing this time around seems like a completely different team than last year's Warriors squad. They have a record of 15 to 18 overall and are 3 to 16 on the road. They have put an excessive amount of faith in Stephen Curry to take them to success. Now that Steph is not on the team, they are hardly competitive at all, and the worst of it came on Wednesday Day, when they lost to the Nets by 30 points and allowed 141 points to be scored against them. They had given up 91 points by the break of the game. Stephen A. Smith's take on the situation. Stephen A. Smith is a regular at SportsCenter as an NBA analyst, and we got to hear what he had to say about the current state of the Warriors. He was unimpressed enough by the performance of the squad to call out the team for their embarrassing play on the court. Smith says that now that Steph Curry is not on the field, the team has reached a new low in terms of performance. He expressed hope in the shooting guard Clay Thompson, adding that even though he has had his opportunities this season, he has consistently failed to back the team up. Stephen A. Smith continued his discussion about shooting guard Jordan Poole by stating that the player needs to prove he is worthy of the money he is getting paid. According to him, the players are compensated for what they are projected to do in the NBA, not for what they have already accomplished in the league. Stephen A. Smith, who is widely regarded as one of the most eminent sports journalists covering the game, recently voiced his disgust at how the Golden State Warriors are currently performing, stating, What a disgrace. I can't even recognize the Warriors right now. We are not just talking about them losing here. We are talking about them getting their butts handed to them. They were trailing by 29 points after the first quarter, and they were down by 40 points when the halftime whistle blew. And having the opponents at such a lead is, to put it plainly, embarrassing. It is clear that Stephen A. Smith is worried by what he is witnessing from the dubs, and he's not the only one who feels this way. Fans and analysts from all over the league continue to be mystified by the current situation of the team that was supposed to be the defending champion. The question is whether or not they will be able to change things. What exactly is the difficulty that the Golden State Warriors are having? Even when Stephen Curry was playing at full strength, the Warriors were not a very good team. Although his absence is obviously the most significant factor contributing to their current state of decline, the root of the problem is in their play when they are away from home, which has been responsible for more than 95% of their defeats so far this season. The Warriors' lack of success away from San Francisco has been the most perplexing aspect of their season, especially considering that no other team in the NBA has a worst record on the road. 3 to 14. Their home net rating of plus 9.9 .9 plummets to a road mark of minus 7.0 when they are away from home. During the previous season, Golden State's road record was 22 to 19 and their net rating was plus 1.2. This would not be a big deal for the top seed, who has a better chance of staying at home for several postseason rounds. But the number 10 seed would have to play both of their play-in games on the road if it gets that far. A first round series would consist of seven games, with each of the fifth through eighth seeds playing away four times. The Warriors have had a hard couple of weeks, and there's no time for them to catch their breath now that things have gotten so hectic. The National Basketball Association (NBA) is a cruel league, and the game calendar does not stop for any club, regardless of how poorly things are going. Without Steph Curry on the court, the Warriors will need to come up with some creative new strategies to win games if they want to maintain their current position and keep their season going until until he returns. What is up with Steph Curry? Steph Curry, possibly the best of Golden State Warriors, stated that he will not be returning to the court for quite some time as he continues to heal from a shoulder injury. After getting into a collision with the Pacers' Jalen Smith during the Warriors' loss to Indiana on December 14th, the reigning most valuable player suffered an injury and the Warriors announced the next day that they will be without Curry for a few weeks. Curry admitted that he would not even be prepared to pick up a basketball, much less take part in any competitive 
competitive games. He estimated that it would be a few weeks still. He is planning ahead to the new year and is beginning to work backwards from that point on a timeline. The Warriors are currently in the midst of a 1-4 road trip and have been unsuccessful without Curry in two of their most recent three contests. There is not yet a specific time frame for his comeback, but if Golden State wants to defend its title, then it will hope its superstar is back up and running sooner than later. There is no indication of when exactly he will be able to play again. The Golden State went into their longest Eastern swing of the season, having already dropped their first two games. They went on to drop all three of their games against the Philadelphia 76ers, the New York Knicks, and the Brooklyn Nets. Curry sustained an injury with approximately two minutes remaining in the third quarter as the Warriors attempted to come back from a 20-point hole at halftime. Golden State was down 83-80 to when he completed a three-point play with 4.16 left in the third quarter. Curry put his left arm out in an attempt to block pacer player Jalen Smith from dribbling towards the baseline. Smith was attempting to score. Smith continued, and Curry's arm twisted uncomfortably behind his back. Curry stood on the court in a bent-over position, reached for his shoulder, and then walked off the court and into the locker room during the next break. Coach Steve Kerr commented after Curry suffered an injury that, this is a challenging stretch of the season, and if Steph's out, it gets tougher for sure. We believe that this team has demonstrated they are capable of winning against any opponent provided that they maintain their health. Simply put, we have to figure out a method to get there. But even when Steph was playing, the Warriors have been bad. Well, it's safe to say that the Golden State Warriors have not exactly been it this season. They've been downright abysmal. But hey, at least they still have a bunch of championship rings to console themselves with, right? It's hard to believe that just a few short years ago, the Warriors were practically unbeatable. They had a killer lineup featuring the likes of Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, and they were racking up championships left and right. But fast forward to today, and it's a whole different story. The Warriors are currently sitting at the bottom of the league with a measly record of 8 wins and 37 losses. Ouch. They've been getting demolished on the court and it's been pretty painful to watch. It's like they've completely forgotten how to play basketball or something. There's always next season, right? That's what the Warriors are telling themselves. At least, they've got a high draft pick coming their way, and they're hoping to use it to turn things around. But with the way things have been going for them lately, it's hard to have much optimism. So, to all the Golden State Warriors fans out there, we feel your pain. It's been a rough season, but don't give up hope just yet. There's always a chance for a comeback. Just don't hold your breath waiting for it to happen. And finally, how can they get their season back on track? First and foremost, the Warriors need to stay healthy. Injuries have plagued the team recently, and it has had a major impact on their performance. If the Warriors can keep their key players healthy, they will have a much better chance of succeeding. In addition to staying healthy, the Warriors need to focus on their defense. In the past, the team has relied heavily on their potent offense to carry them to victories. However, this approach has not been as successful in recent years. By focusing on their defense and developing a more balanced team, the Warriors can become tougher opponents for other teams to play against. The Warriors also need to continue to develop their young talent. Players like Andrew Wiggins and James Wiseman have the potential to be key contributors to the team in the future. By giving these players more opportunities to play and grow, the Warriors can build a solid foundation for the future. Finally, the Warriors need to make the most of their opportunities. In the past, they have struggled to close out games and make the most of their chances. By developing a killer instinct and taking control of games when they have the chance, the Warriors can start to turn things around. Overall, it will take a combination of factors for the Golden State Warriors to get back on track this season. By staying healthy, focusing on defense, developing their young talent, and making the most of their opportunities, the Warriors can start to rebuild and become a dominant force in the NBA once again. What is your take on the current Golden State Warriors lineup and their performance so far? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We hope you enjoyed today's content and we'll see you all again in the next video.